Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. This is a day in my life. Um, pretty much, I'm at school now, and I am waiting uh, before we open up the doors so the kids in, and I stand, play music, and greet the kids. And you might see a little bit of that because I want to be make sure I don't get anybody's child on my on my, on my video. But um, yeah, it is. Ooh, what time is it? It's a little bit after seven, seven oh eight actually. And right now I'm in our auditorium. And uh, so I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes because we open up the doors at 7.15. See you in a minute. Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is pretty much about a day in my life. Um, to be quite frank with you, I have gained some weight and I'm trying to get myself back on track. And as you all know from my previous videos that I haven't been feeling my best, but I'm working on it. And talking to you all kind of feels like therapy. And also, I feel like you all, un unbeknownst to you all, are my accountability partners. And so I'm hoping that you join this journey with me. So I've just got into my office and I'll show you my office. I am actually am in a classroom. I am an assistant principal and I handle um, all of math uh, for third grade th uh, through fifth grade. And, but I also handle the discipline concerns of third through fifth grade, our behavior unit and pre-K as well. And so um, I'm on the fourth, fifth grade hallway and my team and I thought it was wiser for me to be on this end of the hallway. And since we had an extra classroom, I took the classroom. And so let me show you all around cause it's definitely an upgrade from my office from last year. Um, I'm in the newer wing of the building, but the old building, that office was old and I bleached it down and that's the best that I could do. So let me show you my office. So here you see, I have two computers, only one of them work. And my theme this year is all about, we grow great minds, readers, thinkers, and future leaders. So I have a chalkboard, well, I guess it's really a whiteboard, a smart board for my POCs. I added the, um, those are stickers on the wall. We had a baby shower in here and the people who put the balloons together said I can hold on to it until it just falls over. And then I just put up a little quick little easy bulletin board just so I can showcase some work. And then of course my name is Baba Sola. And these are um, a chopping board and pole puncher and the curriculum for math that we use. And then I my room consists of tables. Why don't I put faux flowers? I have a live plant, I'll show y'all that. That was a gift to me and it's beautiful. And so on the tables, it's just keeping the garden thing going. And anyone who knows me loves that I love books. And so I was able to get a grant and uh, purchase a lot of black and brown authors because those are the students that I serve. And here's my desk and rolling cart, uh, microwave and refrigerator, lotion and soap my desk. I do have an exercise bike that I'm going to try to do more of. And then as you can see here, some more books. Let me zoom out a little bit. And so I keep books in here and that's pretty what, pretty much what my students do um, when they have misbehaved and the teacher is like, I need a break. Um, we have them write out what happened, what they need to do to do better. And then of course we sit and we read. I have some more boxes that from my old office that I am putting up and I'll take a step back. But as you can see here, I have a pretty large collection of books written by black and brown authors. And I'm quite proud of that. So what I'm doing now is I am emptying my lunchbox of the things that I need. And you know what I just realized? I forgot my water bottle, my um, my knockoff Stanley cup. So I'm just gonna get me a water. And the next thing I'm going to do before I meet with my team, I am, I'll show you here, turning on my computer. Well, it's turned on. I'm going to take a look at my calendar. Let me sit y'all down. Whew. Okay, okay. I think that looks. Oh, no, it doesn't. 
Okay, <laughs> I think that looks normal. And I have my coffee. I'm back to drinking hot coffee because my throat has been killing me lately. I'm really am an iced coffee girl, but right now I need the warm liquids. So I'm gonna turn on my computer, check my calendar, and then I'm gonna create my to-do list. And I'll show you all that in a second. Okay guys, so now I am getting ready to check my email. And I'm getting old, so I wear reading glasses, y'all. All right, so. Got that done. Let's see who is absent. And so that's one of the first things I do in the morning, check on the email. I really am now trying not to check my email so much as at home because I'm like, I already work over 10 hours a day. I'm not giving you my home life too. So I really try my best to wait here unless one of my uh, teammates or something texts me and then of course I'll look. And so I'm not gonna keep boring you all. I'm gonna check my email and then I'll create my to-do list. Hi everyone, welcome back. It is now 1127. So let me give you a rundown on my day so far. We had a team observation where myself, my principal and my other teammate, we observe one teacher um, every day and then we debrief and see if we're all on the same page on what we notice, what can be improved, and so on and so forth. And that way, when we are judging a teacher, it's um, with a well-balanced mind. And so having said that, I also went ahead and completed two of my spot observations. For those who don't know, I don't think I said this, but I'm an assistant principal at an elementary campus, and I live in the state of Texas. So when we do a spot observation, it's just that where we observe a teacher um, teaching and therefore we give feedback based upon what we see. And I always start off with a praise and then I do one grow, um, glow up or grow up um, upgrade if it's necessary. I am not one of those people that look for every little thing so I could pick apart and um, go like, oh, nothing was good. Because for the most part, we have some really awesome teachers that serve our students. And pretty much across the state of Texas, there's some great and fabulous teachers and his job is way more difficult than people think. So my goal is I'm trying to get everyone's um, spot observations done before Christmas break. Now at my campus and my district, each teacher has to receive at least four spot observations. And so I'm trying to get this done because no matter what anyone says, when you come back from Christmas break, there's a panic about, oh my God, we gotta get the kids ready for star test. And even though it's a dreaded word that we're no longer supposed to say, that is in the back of people's mind. And because that is how our teachers are evaluated based upon their scorecard. And it's also how a school is rated based upon how effective students are performing on the star exam. So I've done that. I've handled two discipline problems. One is a concern in the sense of, I know it's not over with, this is something I'm gonna have to keep following up on. And, um, but that's called work. So I am at the midpoint. I need to get these spot observations in because I serve um, lunchroom duty and where I make sure the kids don't act crazy during lunchtime. And then I will check in with you all a little bit later. All right, guys. All right, people, I am back to close out the vlog. Um, I was able to leave work a little early because we didn't have a long PD. And as you all can see, it is dark outside and it just makes me more tired. Mondays and Tuesdays are my toughest days because um, my baby has gymnastics as well. And so I'm getting ready to cook dinner. And <laughs> one thing I will tell you all, I pretty much cook pasta on Mondays now. And I do a Trader Joe's meal on Tuesday, and hopefully y'all will see it. Um, my, my uncle came from my last video. He let me know that uh, my husband doesn't mind helping. Um, he has some skills, but my control freakness made me go, no, I need to do it. I need to do it. And um, that was added to my stress flow. So I'm going to stop thinking I have to do it all. So I called my husband earlier today. Um, because he gets to work from home a lot and I don't have that luxury. And so he's already diced the sausage. I'm so show you all. It's quite not like the way I would do it. But darling, it is done and I will not complain. And he went ahead and vein and peeled the shrimp. Because I'm making an easy Cajun like uh, pasta. And I didn't feel like chopping onions. And so I'm using one of these seasoning blends. And um, yeah, I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I am back. I have rewashed my hands, but nobody likes a nasty cook. 
chicken. Then I'm cooking up this sausage and I need to turn the temperature down because I don't want it to burn. So I am going to, this is almost done in a few more, about another two to three more minutes. Okay guys, I have taken out, what was that, the sausage and now, ooh, I feel that. I'm adding that diced onion. I should put the camera down. That might be wiser. <laughs> I'm taking the onions and the pepper mix out. Woo. Okay. That was comedy. And I'm going to add, what am I about to add? Oh, I'm going to add some bay leaves. Because I'm calling myself making this Cajun style. And I don't want the people from New Orleans coming for me. I say Cajun style, not Cajun. So I want to be clear. I know I'm not doing it the correct way. I'm doing it my way. So I added a few bay leaves. And I'm going to season this with some good old Tony, Ch uh, who is this, Chat Chatteries Creole seasoning. And of course, some Old Bay. And put a little bit of that on there. And I'm going to have to add some to the shrimp. And I'm going to be careful because my mother's like, darling, don't make it too salty. I have high blood pressure. And I don't need no extra salt, too. She is correct, so I, I stand corrected. Uh, let me close that up. And I have some leftover tomatoes, and before they go to waste, I'm going to go ahead and add that in there as well. Because it's about one small tomato that I had used uh, this weekend for, what did I make? Uh, I think I put it in the casserole for eggs. And so I had a little left. Okay, I need to turn that up because I think I turned it down a little too much, but that's okay. And I'll let that cook up a little bit. And the water is almost boiling. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I am old school. I like to clean as I go. So as you can see here, let me pour it down at the sink. I already have my bleach water rocking. Putting the dishes in. And I'm going to leave the trash out because it's the last thing I'm going to do. And it looks like my tomato onion seasoning is cooking up a little bit. And I'm going to check on that in one second. Okay, it looks like my onions and peppers have reduced. The water is almost boiling. So I am now getting ready to add the shrimp. And let that cook up. That shouldn't take that long. So I'll leave that there. And I am using what I already own in my kitchen. So I'm not using any fancy pasta. I'm using rigatoni. Cause hey, you, have you ever bought some stuff on sale and then you like, dang, I didn't even use it. Well, that is where I am with this rigatoni and baby pasta is pasta um, to me. So I'm going to use it. my little trash bag So now I'm about to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Well, not a little, uh, at least a cup. Put that in there. And I like the, I know I should probably buy the kind that is unshredded, but I'm tired. Look at that. That looks delicious. It does. And now I'm going to put the hot pasta so on. Now look at that. That is my Cajun inspired pasta. I'm going to let it soak up the juices and put the top on. And then it is ready to serve. All right, guys, that is the finished product. I already took my mother's food to her room. 
And there you go. All right, until the next time. All right, guys, until the next time, I wish you lots of joy and, of course, many blessings. All right, see you later.